Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess. <laughs> the really big mess. This is my desk. And actually, it's kind of tidy for today. Anyway, we've got two packages which were delivered today. And one of them, this one, is very special. I'm going to do that one last. Because I definitely know what the contents of that one is. And it's insane. And by the way, if you just can't wait, that video there, which I'm about to publish in a few seconds time, uh, it is related to that. It has speed attached to it. Now we got another box here and this came from Hobby King. Uh, let's go and get her open. And I can't find my other knife, so uh, I'm going bareback and uh, just using a raw blade which you should definitely not use because those Erwin ones are ridiculously sharp. And they stay sharp for ages as well. Really, really good blades. Let's get her, oh, oh, brilliant. Let's get her open. So what have we got in here? Let's start with the thing which popped out at me at the top, uh, which are some 3.5 millimeter uh, bullet connectors. Now, I hope I bought more than one bag because I'm pretty sure I did, but... I may have only just bought one bag, bugger. I will have to check my order. Uh, hopefully there's some more in the bottom. If not, I'll have to go on Banggood or go back to Hobby King. No, it would be Banggood because it would just be too expensive from Hobby King with their £5.70 shipping. So we've got some little 35 millimeter uh, bullet connectors. Those are great for the um, motors and ESCs. So you can never have too many of those. Next up, we have hopefully got a motor. And this was the reason why I put the order in, uh, is because I wanted a motor. And again, I will, you'll find out what this motor is for in a later project. So let's get her open. Sooner or later. Aha! Brilliant. Uh, so this is the NTM prop drive 2836-1400KV. Now there's a reason why I chose this one and the reason why I chose the 1400 KV is because it will swing uh, either a 10 by five or a nine by six propeller uh, with very decent efficiency. Now the thing is, is that you'll notice the way which this can moves is that the can moves and this back piece stays still. That means that we need an attachment to go on the front of here. Now that did not come with the package, so I bought this separately. And let me go and open this one up. And the piece which I want is just there. Uh, and we need the adapter which sits and screws in on the end of there so that we can then attach a propeller and then put the prop nut on. Uh, and then that's gonna be uh, our setup for this. And this will actually be fitting on the back of a model. And guess what? It's not for a flying wing. So you'll find out about that one in a later video, what this motor's for. So I need to pop that back in. I'm gonna put all that in actually in one bag. In fact, I'll put it back in this big bag and I will go and put it over with the new box, which I, I had arrived earlier this week. And you'll find out about what that new box is very, very shortly. Uh, also in here, uh, I've been getting through these batteries. In fact, I took my little, um, what should we call it, baby bonsai. And I've just been flying, and I mean literally flying through uh, the batteries with it because of the Isheen MC01 uh, FPV camera. I'll stick a linky up uh, on your screen with the camera which I'm talking about. And there's also a video link in the top right as well, and you'll see the, the camera in action. And why? the reason why I've been getting through so many batteries uh, I think I've got about six or seven of these already, uh, uh, which are the Zippy 1000 um, milliamp hour batteries. They're only 2C, but uh, they're absolutely brilliant. And they are super cheap. I think I paid about three pounds each. Uh, so they're super, super cheap. And let me just check the box. Okay, yeah, I only did order one pack of those. Bad me. Uh, coming back to the batteries. Yeah, they are super cheap. Uh, and they do last uh, about nine, ten minutes uh, with the baby bonsai. I really do like these batteries. And of course, I'll stick a bit of fluffy Velcro on the back. Also, I will find my Sharpie pen, which is not on my desk at the moment. 
Uh, and I also write I, uh, on the ends uh, 2S 1000. So, the, so I know that it's a 2S battery and it's a 1000 capacity. And also I write the dates on the side of these as well. So I know when these batteries were received. So I'll write today's date on the side. Uh, and that then means that if I ever get any issues, I know how long the battery lasted. So a very, very simple tip. Uh, and these little batteries are absolutely brilliant because they just literally just fit up underneath the nose of the bonsai. Uh, and I can get 10 minutes approximately uh, flight time, even with the FPV camera on there. Uh, and they're really, really cool. So I like those batteries a lot. So I'm probably up to about nine or 10 of those now. Now, moving on to my new speed device. Now, I am talking like a child for this because uh, let's be frank here, we're all just grown up children. And uh, let's go and get this one open. In fact, maybe that was an inspired choice using this blade. So let's get around on this side. And uh, let's open this bad boy up. So what we got in here? Two, what else we got in here? Some outside in here as well. Right. Have you guessed what it is yet? I'll tell you what, I kind of know what those two are because they're heavier. Let me just start with the boring one first. So let's get her open. Come on. Excellent. Let's file that all in the filing cabinet. Have you guessed what it is yet? Yes, you're right. It is a motor. But it's a very special motor. Now, the reason why I bought three of these prop adapters is because the last one which I had, uh, it got stuck and I ended up over torquing it uh, and I snapped the actual shaft. So if that ever does happen to me again, I know that at least I've got one spare in the arsenal. Now, you must be wondering, Matt, you've got two motors there. What are they? <laughs> And uh, excuse the evil cackle because I know it's full well what these are. And uh, they are the definition of insanity. Uh, they are absolutely mental little motors. Now to give you a heads up, uh, on a 3S battery with a 4.5 propeller, it will pull 53 amps and give us about uh, one point, yeah, about one kilo uh, of thrust. Now, that's great, but the bit which I'm interested in is because on 4S with the same propeller, it will nigh on give us 1.5 kilos of thrust, uh, but she does pull about 83 amps. Now, you must be thinking, 83 amps, Matt, that's lots. Well, it is lots, but everything in moderation, and if you stick a 100 amp ESC on it, it's all happy days. So let's open this up. Now, keep in, the, keep in your mind... Okay, 83 amps, 4S, and one point, for all intents and purposes, 1.5 kilos of thrust, and just take a look at the size, and I've not even unpackaged it yet, so keep that in the back of your mind. So let's open her up. There we go, there's one little beauty there. So let me turn this around so you can see it on your screen. This is a Paydis. MT2836, 3,500 kV motor. These things are absolutely bonkers. Now, just look at the size of that. In fact, let me just go and grab my ruler for you a moment. So let's just put the ruler by the side. We're talking no more than about four centimeters tall uh, and a dimension of, I'll oh, give or take, uh, two and a half centimeters. Uh, by the way, in old money, that's about uh, an inch and a half by, and apologies for the arm going across the screen, by about an inch wide. So this tiny, tiny little motor uh, can give us 1.5 kilos of thrust uh, it 3,500 key, uh, kV, you know that she's going to be a big screamer uh, as she goes across the flight line. Now, Matt, you may be wondering what I, what on earth 
uh, uh, have you bought this motor for? Uh, and in short, it's for a special project. Well, it's two special project projects. Uh, one of them is the Wing Wing Z84. Uh, and, and I'll put the series, or I'll put a screenshot on your screen. I'm doing a mini series at the moment. Uh, and we will be making the world's fastest Wing Wing Z84. Uh, this is one of the devices which will make it the fastest Wing Wing Z84 on planet Earth. And also, if I'm going that nuts, what happens if I got a Grizzly Bonsai? There you go. What happens if I got my baby Bonsai or a Bonsai Flying Wing and just so happened to mount one of those on the back? Uh, that would be cool, clusters. Happy days! It would be absolutely bonkers. Uh, so, yes, I will be putting one of those with a 100 amp ESC and a 4S battery on a bonsai. Uh, so maybe a byproduct of this that will have also not only the fastest Wing Wing Z84 on planet Earth, but also the fastest bonsai on planet Earth as well. So we'll do a separate video about that one. So let me move that out of the way. And in the other packet is just basically another one of these. And the reason why I bought Spare is because they were super cheap. They're only like 15 quid. And they're um, as cheap as the NCM motors off Hobby King. Uh, I bought these off AliExpress. The link to, the, to these motors are underneath this video for you. Uh, and they are absolutely mental. So I'm just going to pack these away so they stay nice and safe and don't pick up any... Uh, shards of metal off my desk, uh, which may have been left on here. So today's haul, really straightforward. So we got some batteries, we got some connectors, and we got some mental motors, which make it fun for some later projects. And Mr. Fly, go away. Sorry for the banging noise. I had an uninvited guest on my desk. Uh, so with that said, uh, what is the craziest motor you have ever bought? Is it something like this, which has been uh, high current, high KV? Or have you gone for a huge, great big electric motor uh, for your model, which will swing like a 10 foot prop? Let me know in the comments section underneath this video. And as always, from myself, Matt, cheerios!